Hi everyone, this is Maverick Pa, the Chemistry Guru. Now in this video, we want to discuss the suggested solution for 2021 A-Levels H2 Chemistry, Paper 1, Question 16. Now 16, which statement about propene explains how it reacts with bromine? Propene is an alkene, so reaction with bromine should be electrophilic addition reaction. So statement A, electrons in the carbon-carbon pi bond are donated to an electrophile. Statement B, electrons in the carbon-carbon sigma bond are donated to an electrophile. C, the sp2 hybridized carbon is an electrophile and it accepts a pair of electrons. D, the sigma bond between the sp2 hybridized carbon atoms is weak and readily broken. So let us just run through the mechanism involving electrophilic addition of propene with bromine. Then we come back to the options and we will be able to understand each one of them a lot better. Now, as mentioned previously, the mechanism for alkene will be electrophilic addition. And the mechanism involving electrophilic addition is actually pretty straightforward. I can just show this to you here. Alkene is considered electron-rich because I have four electrons between two carbon. So alkene is electron-rich and it will react with species that are electron-poor. So therefore, when your bromine molecule approaches your alkene, perpendicular to your alkene, there will be a distortion of electron cloud. Electron cloud will be actually pushed away from your bromine, being repelled by my alkene. So the bromine, which is closer, will be a partial positive charge. Bromine, which is further away, will be a partial minus charge. And because of that, the bromine that is closer is considered the electrophile, the E+. Plus. And what happens is I will draw an arrow involving the double bond point from the double bond towards your bromine. Later, I'll be forming a carbon bromine bond. Then I also draw an arrow from the bromine bromine bond point towards your Br partial minus charge. I'll be breaking the Br Br bond. I form this Br minus. I'll be able to form this carbocation ion. Bromine in this case will join to the carbon on the right hand side. Positive charge will be on my carbon. The carbocation ion will be on the carbon at the center. I kick out this Br minus. So I form this carbocation ion. And this step, it is a slow step. Then the next thing is, your C plus is positively charged, obviously. Br minus is negatively charged. Then this Br minus will attack the C plus and join to your C plus to form your carbon bromine bond, which is in the second step. This will be the first step. And this is our electrophilic addition mechanism. Again, very, very simple process involving our alkene. Now, let us run through the options see which one of them are correct. So first one, involving A and B. Now we can actually consider options A and B together because they are related to each other. A is talking about electrons in the carbon-carbon pi bond donated to an electrophile. B is talking about electrons in the carbon-carbon sigma bond donated to an electrophile. So which one of them is true? Only one of them can be correct. So what we can do is, of course, usually when we draw the mechanism, we just draw an arrow from the double bond point to your bromine, which is an electrophile. We've talked about it previously. Alkene is considered electron rich, then attacks your bromine partial plus charge, which is electron poor. So your bromine delta plus charge, it is the electrophile. So it is true the electrons in the carbon carbon bond are donated to an electrophile. That one is true. So the issue is is it a pi bond or is it a sigma bond? Now, what we can do is again, usually when we draw mechanism, we really don't try to distinguish whether do I draw the arrow from a pi bond or a sigma bond? Because the double bond, usually we just represent it as a sigma bond plus pi bond. A double bond will be sigma plus pi. Usually we don't try to differentiate which one is the sigma bond, which is the pi bond. But what we do know is when I form the carbocation ion that is being formed, the carbon-carbon single bond is still there. And this carbon-carbon single bond has to be a sigma bond. And if this is a sigma bond that is left, so this means then which bond that I'm using to attack your Br delta plus charge, my electrophile has to be the pi bond because at the beginning this is sigma plus pi double bond. After that, I'm left with a sigma bond. So the bond that is involved in donating to my electrophile should be our pi bond. So if we compare options A and B, A will be the correct answer. The pi bond will be used for donation to my electrophile. B, the sigma bond donated to an electrophile should be false. So we actually already know A most likely will be the answer for this question. Now next, how about option C? Option C says that the sp2 hybridized carbon is an electrophile and it accepts a pair of electrons. Now this is totally wrong. The reason why the 
alkene undergoes electrophilic addition, reaction is because the alkene is electron rich and therefore it reacts with species that is electron poor. And electron rich species, we consider them as nucleophile. So my alkene is actually nucleophilic in terms of nature. It is actually an electron pair donor. It donates electrons pair rather than accepting electron pair. C is totally not true. My alkene should be electron rich. It is a nucleophile. It is not an electrophile. It reacts with an electrophile. That's why we call this an electrophilic addition. So the electrophilic represents the reactive species that react with my alkene, not the nature of my functional group. So do take note of that. C is totally wrong. Now D, the sigma bond between the sp2 hybridized carbon atoms is weak and readily broken. Now this is related to what we have talked about when we run through options A and B. We have already shown that the bond that is involved in the reaction involving my alkene should be the pi bond. The pi bond is broken. It's not the sigma bond that is broken. So therefore D is also not true. D is false. So what we can do now is of course we can run through the options A, B, C, D. My statement A, where electrons in the carbon-carbon pi bonds are donated to my electrophile. This is the correct statement. All the rest of the options are not true. So the answer to this exercise will be option A. Alright, so that was the discussion involving this pretty straightforward question involving the mechanism for alkenes, electrophilic addition reaction. So if you have learned something useful from this video, please give me the thumbs up, like this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more weekly video lessons. That's all for now. I'll see you next week.